21 drivers, a combination of Park USA regulars, as well as a couple of promoters options, have lined up for a 107 lap redemption race here at Flat Rock. Piet's drew pole with Fingai, the hometown boy, on the outside. Piet's going to easily slip into the lead. Engrit's challenging down low, pushing it three wide for third there. That's Little John, the uh, short track veteran on the inside, trying to make some moves, along with current championship leader DJ Curtis. Not for points here, but uh, Curtis still showed up. Uh, good sport in the number 33. Uh, he's still hanging there in the top five. Piet doing his best up top, but Engritz challenging down low still. Caution is out, racing back to the line. Engritz trying his best, but slides up the track. Cannot get the run off the corner. Piet will lead the first five laps. Unfortunately, the field wouldn't be able to get through very long without some calamity. Brian Fox gets stumped by William Brock into the other William, William Duncan, and that collects Jerry Guerra in the 71. Not much damage, and everyone will continue on. Pace car back in, and it's Piet leading to the restart. That's Engritz challenging down low in the 78. A DeLorean there, and he's going to snap the lead away. Race's second leader there, Piet, trying to struggle on the top side of the track, but Engritz ends up clearing him. Here is Wes Jones in the 404. Uh, of course, Jones wasn't in that uh, race, uh, the USA race, but uh, with me in the booth here, well, can't be in two places at once. Engritz would slide way up the racetrack leaving the door open for Bill Littlejohn, who's going to run him all the way up to the wall there. These two would battle side by side for a lap or so before Littlejohn would successfully go into the lead. Littlejohn also wasn't in the Hark USA Tour race, but um, he was one of the promoter's options as, uh, as one of the most experienced short track drivers in the field. And uh, he was in the Hark Canada campaign back in 2016. Got a really cool shot here on board. The 58 car, the Oreos machine of McIntyre, and oh, gets into the wall there. That's not how you hold off the cavalry. Uh, might want to scale back on doing that. As uh, the 404 is on the Little John still holding off. Engritz for the race lead. He's had a go on the inside, but couldn't get it done. Fingai sticking in third. Well, Piet has fallen all the way back to fourth. The, the Flying Dutchman. Still yet to win a hard race. We got a really neat upper cam on for the Denali Chase of Will. Uh, get a nice view of the front end of the 404 there. And oh, there's contact with Dodd in the 88A. And Dodd, I think, has hit the pit wall. Dodd has hit the pit wall. Uh, well, that's going to be a caution. And uh, as Will Hoy. Oh. Uh, gets into the wall as he rejoins the field. Will Hoyt still in the field. Dodd out of the race just as he was back in the 2016 Can-Am Series race. But Pace Car is back in. Little John's going to get the jump over the rest of the field. He's going to pull out to a couple car length advantage over Engritz, who might come under attack by Fingai here. Contact for that spot with Piet further back. Engritz going to hold on to second, it looks like, but that battle is raging on for that third spot. Michaels up into the mix as well. Bill Littlejohn continues to lead. I've always wondered how, uh, you know, he has Long John Sillers on the car and, it, and he's still underfunded. Three wide for the lead as Pia and Engritz force their way in. Uh, Engritz just cheese pizza the 30 into the wall. And uh, Littlejohn's going to lose a couple of spots, it looks like. Being challenged by the 04 and the 92 as uh, the 92 is not racing too nice. And, oh, he gets into the 04, and that turns the 30 around. And that's going to be another caution, as uh, the 92 and the 30 try and limp away. Piet brings him back to the line. Engritz, very hungry, looking to the low side. Michaels brings it three wide. Contact between Engritz sends Piet into the outside wall. Curtis piles in to the left side door of the 82, and that is it for Piet. He comes to a smoldering heap down in turns three and four. Engritz leaps the field to the green. Uh, Piet's out of the race with some suspension damage, but surprisingly, the Chrysler of, of uh, Curtis doesn't have too much damage on it. Makes you think, don't it? Anyway, uh, um, Engritz leads the field around, and he will lead that lap. 
with the 4 and the 04, both challenging him with the 404 a couple cars behind. Wes Jones fighting hard in the battle for 8th. McIntyre bumps out of Fitzwater down into Jones. Jones shoving up the track in the corner. They all get tight. 58 and the 59 locked together there, still through turns 1 and 2, but they managed to get it sorted out. That was awfully close to something a whole lot worse. It's been a very long battle for William Brock to try and get by that pesky DeLorean. Uh, Engritz runs it in a little wide in the Oswegen machine, and here comes Brock. Uh, Brock had uh, first challenged uh, uh, the 78 about four laps ago, and it's taken that long for him to get by, but he finally accomplishes it and leaves the 78 in, to, in the clutches of Joshua Lynn. These four drivers in a perpetual battle for around seventh place. McIntyre trying to hold off Little John, who's charging his way back through the field. Duncan and Jones get together, and Duncan pretty much just throws the 404 into the wall. Both drivers keep going, but I'm sure Jones may be not too happy with the number 83. Torres gets into Johnson further back as well. A lot of contact in this one. This is a full contact sport. William Duncan forces his way in between the... Uh, Jones and Thing Guy, as uh, he almost stumps the 59. Great save, but then, yeah, that's uh, William Duncan that uh, we all know and love, as he just drumsticks uh, Jeffrey Thing Guy out of that position, and the caution is back out. A little bit under 20 to go as uh, they take the restart. The four washes up the track. Brock. Uh, uh, seemingly wants to give the 04 a good shot at the lead and well Joshua Michael sure is taking it as he goes side by side 4 and the 0-4 uh, looks like uh, Michaels has cleared not not quite good run off of the corner by Brock this is gonna set up for what's looking to be one heck of a duel on board Joshua Michaels here this is an experimental camera off the right side of the car Battle continuing on with Brock here. We've had a couple of laps of it so far, and Michael's not giving up on the bottom, and Brock continuing to use the outside to his advantage to get good runs off the corners and send it in deep into the corners. Joshua Michaels still battling with William Brock. They took the restart on lap 91. This It is now lap... Uh, they're coming to lap 100, and these guys are still side-by-side. Side. They haven't... Uh, lost too much time to third place Jerry Guerra. Actually, I think they're gaining a little bit. As uh, the 04 still trying to clear the four, they're beating and banging off the corner. This is something you'd see out of the NASCAR Pinty series. As uh, Michaels tries, almost clears uh, Brock, and coming off of turn four, it looks like oh, they're almost a dead heat coming to that to the line. If that was the last lap, that would have been. Incredible. As searching ahead a little bit, uh, the 04 tries, tries desperately to clear Brock. Michaels and Brock side by side. Don't normally see these two up front. As Joshua Michaels finally, finally clears William Brock. Coming to the white flag for Joshua Michaels, who has pulled away from the DeWalt machine of William Brock ever since he made the pass. Took 14 laps of trying, but Joshua Michaels, just two turns away from the win here at the Hark Exhibition Race, the Redemption Race at Flat Rock Speedway. He's got it done. We've got a couple of incidents on the final lap, though. Spring guy, Brian Fox, and Will Hoyt uh, battling for the all-important position of 15th. Uh, they get together on the last lap, and did I just see what I thought I saw? Duncan running 10th, trying to hold off a charging Sebastian Torres. Torres dumps him into turn three on the last lap. And Torres, who is taken out of contention for race, wins back in the Hart Can-Am Tour, might have finally gotten his subtle revenge in the exhibition race here. Duncan falls several positions. That car looks mangled. This was on the cool down lap. Will Hoy and Thing Guy not happy with one another. Thing Guy swerved into the Denali, but that backfires as Thing Guy rolls the Mustang in turn three after the checkered flag. Unbelievable. 
Christian Wilhoit was a lucky boy going into this race. He, uh, he got two onboard cameras, and we get to see on board the front one, the guy doing whatever he just did there. After a wild and dramatic day at Flat Rock, it's Joshua Michaels heading to victory lane. William Brock climbed all the way from 15th to finish in the second position. Jerry Guerra came across the line in third. Shrimp Engritz, very aggressive today, got himself into a few incidents. He will finish fourth, and Bill Littlejohn climbs all the way back up to fifth. I hope you enjoyed this detour to Flat Rock. Next up, the series heads to Michigan International Speedway, which will replace Belle Isle on the schedule for round 21, the penultimate round of the regular series schedule.